Uh, the experiment I have today is called writing with light. So what I have here is a glow-in-the-dark piece of paper. I have a little red LED, I have a blue LED, and I have a purple LED. And I'm going to take each of these LEDs and I'm going to write on my glow-in-the-dark paper. And I write on my glow-in-the-dark paper with the red LED, it does nothing. But if I write with the blue LED, mm, we can start to see the paper glows just a little bit. Now if I write with the purple LED, it really glows well. So what's happening? Well, it turns out with these three different colors of light, uh, they have different energy levels. So the red light has a little bit of energy, the blue light has more energy, and the purple light has the most amount of energy out of all of these. Um, so when I use the purple light, on the glow-in-the-dark surface, what it does is it makes that electron in the paper, in the glow-in-the-dark paper, jump up to the next higher energy level. And then when it jumps back down, it emits a green light, which is uh, a little bit lower energy than the blue. Putting together your own writing with light is actually pretty straightforward. You just need some glow-in-the-dark paper um, or glow-in-the-dark duct tape. And then you can put it on a piece of heavy cardstock. And then in our case, we wrangled the lights on there so that they wouldn't get lost. And then you can use any kind of light you want. What we found to be most effective is the purple light. That's the one that writes the best. Just in case you don't have special LEDs at home, you can also try other light sources. For instance, I have this nice bright flashlight here, and I can write on it with this flashlight. You might be interested in what you find. 